Hi and welcome to week two of It's To Live For The Weight Loss Challenge. We're so excited that you've joined us once again on this adventure with our five participants. They're all doing really, really well. Stay tuned and just follow them as they go through this process because each one of them is really transforming their lives, not just their weight, but their entire life. So there is a reason why we are introducing these immediately. If we are to gain benefits from exercise and activity, we need to improve the way we move. It is commonly thought that we will reduce injury and build fitness by simply being stronger. If we have developed inefficient movement habits, then we can actually increase our risk of harm. To really benefit from activity, we have to teach our nervous system how to work more efficiently. So simple postural improvements are the starting point. Research shows us that clinical Pilates is a very efficient way that we can achieve this. It's not just about the classes of Pilates exercises, but training our nervous system to learn about long-term postural control. So for this, we are using clinical Pilates to coach our participants and assess them at the start. Everyone is an individual, so we are tailoring each program to each participant for them. So do you have any current injuries at the moment? Uh, no. No? So it said you had a previous back injury, and how long ago was that? Uh, that was seven years ago. Seven I years ago? ruptured the bottom disc in my spine, mm -hmm. and I had major surgery uh, to correct that, and then it took me three months to walk again. Okay. Uh, but since then, uh, no side effects. Mm -hmm. I'm just not allowed to put on weight, which I have done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So can you remember anything at the time, sort of how it happened or...? Uh, I was at work and I bent down, I lifted something really heavy, mm -hmm. but I stood up too quickly mm -hmm. and then I felt like a pop in Maybe my back. Twinge in your back? And that's when I'd ruptured the, okay. the disc. Okay. Uh, within two days, uh, I was having trouble walking, so mm -hmm. I had sciatica down my mm -hmm. leg uh, and I'd virtually stopped walking, I think, within a week. Okay, and apart from this back injury, is there any other injuries that you've ever had in the past? No. Yes. And welcome to day two of the adventure down the beach today. Feeling pretty energetic this morning because normally I wouldn't be down the beach at 11 o'clock in the morning. See, uh, adventure so far has given me a lot of motivation and uh, inspiration to push forward in my goals. I want to be 100% honest, I'm actually quite irritable today uh, on day three. Um, I think it's because having quite severe depression and anxiety uh, for quite some time now, and I'm used to throwing myself into comfort eating, so if I have a bad day, I'll go and eat a two litre tub of ice cream, I'll go and get KFC, I'll eat a block of chocolate, whatever, I can usually go and eat what I want, but now being on part of this adventure and having to eat healthier, um, I'm not struggling um, and I'm not gonna cheat and I'm not gonna eat anything I'm not supposed to, but I think I'm just having a bit of an off day today. This is getting used to a different routine for me, but I'm not gonna fail, I'm still optimistic, I'm still very positive. Uh, I've been pretty agitated again and quite moody. Wanting what I would normally have on any given day, that being chocolate or chips or junk food. And you know what has really pushed me today? The fact that I've had so many comments and, and friends saying to me that they're inspired by the fact that I'm taking on this adventure. So I'm doing well, had everything I'm supposed to have today, feeling quite energetic. Went for an hour walk this morning, an hour walk now and actually feel really good. Aaron, you have had a spectacular week this week. I've had an awesome week this week. Uh, initially it was pretty hard when I started off. Mm -hmm. uh, the first couple of days I was really positive and thinking, yeah, I can do this. And then yeah. you get to day three or day four and you sort of hit a little bit of a, a slump. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, you, you think about the reasons why you're doing it mm -hmm. as well. You're doing mm -hmm. this to get a healthier lifestyle and, mm. and to lose some weight and to do things that you may not be able to do right now. I mean, mm. I'd love to be able to go down to the beach and run with my dog, but right mm. now I can't really do that without getting out of breath. Yeah, so um, now you can't, but you're a lot better now than where you were even a week ago. Well, I am because I've lost four kilos. Yes, 
<laughs> yeah. Which I'm very Which happy is about. Awesome. Very happy about. So you stay strong for next week. I will. And we'll chat to you then. Alright, cool. Thanks, okay. Man. So do you have any current injuries at the moment? Uh, no, just an old body. Just an old no. stiff, inflexible body. So no is the answer. No? Good. And have you ever had any other injuries in the past? Um, not for a long time. I'm pretty good. No? So over your whole entire lifetime? Oh, I've had yeah. torn muscles. I've had two broken arms. Okay, so tell me about each of these just briefly. Um, so so I broke, broke both my arms at the same time here yep. and here. Yeah. It's like 30 Before. years ago. Yeah. So I have no repeat issues with that. Mm -hmm. And um, torn muscles, so I've probably done, I reckon, both calves. Both calves. Hamstring probably in the last three years. Which hamstring? Um, uh, left. Left hamstring? Yeah. I had a dislocated shoulder. Mm -hmm. which, which one? Um, that was my left shoulder, that was a football injury years ago. Mm -hmm. So no ongoing issues with that. Yeah. So at the moment there's nothing in particular that is aggravating, causing no, you any pain, any no. discomfort, nothing all at all? Good. Okay. Hey guys, g'day from Brownhill Creek, just out on our uh, afternoon walk. Uh, when I say we, me and the little dog, where I can get the dog, there we go. Having a great walk, but had a great day. Uh, all's going uh, according to plan so far, which is great news. G'day from the office today. Uh, going well, although I have learnt something about myself, and that is I'm addicted to caffeine. So I woke up this morning with a really heavy head and sort of stiff shoulders and things, but I know it's the caffeine because I've been through the process before. I'll be uh, as right as rain tomorrow, uh, but uh, went to the gym this morning, which was nice, uh, and uh, got a fairly busy day, but still focused and on track, so that's the main thing. Feeling fantastic, uh, over the caffeine headache, haven't had a coffee since uh, before our meeting on Tuesday now, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just waiting to see how my body responds tonight when I tell it it's not having its normal bottle of Friday Night Red and 350 gram rump steak. Uh, it's been a good day. I uh, just got back from the gym. It's pretty humid, isn't it? So I sweat a lot when it's humid, but oh, I had an energy to burn today, so I don't know what's going on, but uh, feeling really good. Uh, weekends are always a bit of a challenge because I suppose there's other people around that can uh, slide you a red wine or a beer or uh, lead you astray a little bit, but uh, I'm keeping a bit of a low profile just to eliminate that risk this weekend. Uh, cleanse day tomorrow, uh, so that'll be obviously my first cleanse day. Looking forward to that. I've been uh, painting all day, cleaning, cle painting and cleansing. I'm not sure whether that's a good mix. Uh, you can probably tell that I've just got out of the shower, so I'm a bit flush. So, Brett, you have had a great week. Yes, thank you, uh, Pam. I have uh, had a good week. I've had an enjoyable week. There's mm -hmm. been a few little ups and downs along the way, but uh, all in all, feeling really well. And it was easier than you thought it would be? Uh, do you know, I've been ready for this for a while. Yeah. You know, I've been psyching myself up for this and yeah. it's something that I've needed. So mm -hmm. I think mentally I've just gone into it in the right condition. Yes. Um, yeah. So, no, I don't think it's been tougher than no. what I expected. Yeah, but you're doing so well. And Brett is our little personal motivation person. Every day he'll send us all out a little motivational, inspirational message. Well, I got, in trouble. So cool. I got in trouble today because I didn't yes, send one out. Yes, we so. all missed it. But the day's not finished yet. That's so. true, that's true. Well done, we'll see you next week. Thank you very much. Do you have any current injuries at the moment? Yes, I do. Yep. I've got um, plantar fasciitis in both feet, mm -hmm. worse in my left. Worse in the left. I have um, a recovering from a torn calf muscle in my right leg. Yeah. And I recently um, tore two ligaments in my right knee, um, which have healed, but they can be a little bit weak. And in terms of the plantar fasciitis, how long has that been going on for? At least two years two years. Is there any activities or movements or anything in particular that really, really aggravate your plantar fasciitis, your calf or your knee? Um, the feet I'm not so sure about because at the moment I'm doing just walking and cycling mm -hmm. and that seems to be okay. Um, I did try to use an elliptical machine mm -hmm. and that was too stressful on my calf. Mm -hmm. um, so that one I think I'll wait for a little while. Mm -hmm. So walking for prolonged periods of time is yes. okay? Yes. Yep, for and both I'll, of them? Yes. And I um, used the reclined um, bicycle in the yeah. gym and that was fine. Okay. So day one, um, didn't do as well I was hoping I would do, um, mainly due to um, disorganisation this morning. 
um, my little man um, has, is his first week of reception. This is his third day. Um, he doesn't take change very well, uh, so the mornings are a little bit diff difficult at the moment. Um, as such, I should have got everything ready last night before I um, went to bed, but I didn't. Um, so the consequence was <laughs> that I only had my shakes during the day um, for breakfast and lunch, um, but I left all of my snacks at home, so I was a little bit peckish all day. Can't wait to get home for dinner. Um, other than that, though, I really enjoyed the shakes as it was and enjoyed um, knowing that this is the start of something good and something uh, that I'm really looking forward to. Rough morning. Um, both of my munchkins were a bit upset about having to go to daycare and school, which I thought I was okay with until I got to the end of the day. And I have to admit, I did have a little bit of chocolate. So um, I'm actually really not happy with myself, not happy with caving into my cravings. Um, wasn't worth it in the end so need to get back on the horse get back into it um, try not to get the let the emotions rule so Mel you have had a very exciting first week I sure have yeah and how did you find it you you were good with the shakes and yes I was I did have a few moments where um, emotional situations have come up and mm -hmm. I did cave once and had some chocolate um, but I regretted it straight away <laughs> and then I went to the gym that night to try to um, even it out yeah, yeah. so lesson learned um, mm -hmm. but I did I enjoyed it It was a lot easier than I thought it would be and you clean stay my cleanse day was amazing. Yeah. I did lock myself at home mm. so that I wouldn't be tempted. Yeah. Um, but it was really, really easy. Awesome. Awesome. So the key is be prepared, really, isn't it? Basically. Yeah. 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 And don't put yourself in situations where you will fail. Yeah, exactly. Well done. Well done. See you next week. Yes. Yeah. So, Carol, do you have any current injuries at the moment? Yes, I um, have a strained knee at the moment. Yeah, and that's on your left knee? Yes. Yep. Left knee at the rear. Yep. Any other injuries at the moment? No, just the old back. Yeah. You know, normal. Low back pain. Yeah. Yep. Just old age creeping up on me. Yeah. And how long has that been going on for? Probably thirty years. Thirty years. And is that more on the left side or the right side? No, both. All both across. sides. Yep. Right across. I'm not very kind to it. Yeah. Okay. And this knee injury. How long ago did that happen? It's an old, very old injury, mm -hmm. probably about 35 years old, but I, I've i just re jigged it. Okay, and I how did you do that? Shower. Slipped in the shower? Mm. And how long ago was that? Probably about two months ago. Okay, and do you remember which way you fell? Was it forwards, just, backwards? Just stepped out and slid backwards. Slipped backwards? Yep. Okay, is there any movements or positions or anything in particular that really, really aggravate it? Bending it too far hurts. Bending it? Right up. It right up and okay. um, it just it just clicks it locks sometimes okay here at work just about to leave I got thoroughly spoilt today as you can see by the balloons and some flowers I got presents as well I'm not going to be here on Monday for my birthday so they did it pre-birthday rather than post um, we went out to lunch and I had a half a chicken wrap I hope that was okay uh, I uh, had my shakes shake this morning and my tablets and my powder and I'll have a shake tonight for tea so I um, think I'm still on track. I did have a, you know, two peanut M&Ms today before I realised I should be putting my hand in the bowl. Okay, um, I'll have to do something to offset that tomorrow, do a bit of a walk or something. I'm, I'm a little bit grumpy today I don't know why I think it might be you know not eating the same foods or changing my diet or I'm not sure but uh, tomorrow like I said tomorrow's another day we'll go onwards and upwards hi Carol you had, had a great had... week yes thank yeah. you yes I have had a great week and I've felt a no hunger not deprived the shakes have been great even the cleanse day was great well done. Yeah. And I know you were at Krispy Kreme Donuts. With my niece, yes. Yeah. For about 
two and a half to three hours and I didn't have a donut and she ate two in front of me. This woman is spectacular. Oh, just wonderful. <laughs> and your results are showing it. Thank you. Yes, I so hope. Yeah, it looks good. No, I'm great. I'm really excited. Yeah, well yeah. done. Thank well you. done. We'll see you next week. Brilliant. See you next week. So do you have any current injuries at the moment? No, well, just sort of getting over, you know, the, um, yeah, sort of slight, sort of sprain muscle in my back. Yeah? Yeah. So, how did you do that? I don't know. Um, I think it might have been just like, I went to go and pick something up and, um, yeah. Yeah, and is it still causing you issues at the moment? No, 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 no it's, 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 it's improved since last week. Like, okay, yeah. okay, so not yeah. something that you had treatment on or anything like no, that? No. no, okay. And have you had any other injuries in the past? So anything at all in your whole entire life? Any other injuries at all? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And what was that? It was just a shoulder injury. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And which shoulder was it? I think it was my right. Your right shoulder? Yeah. 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 And what sort of happened? Um, it was just repetitive, uh, yeah, repetitive work that I was sort of doing. Yeah, I'm hoping to, you know, you know, in, in, in eight weeks, um, lose at least, I'd say 15, 20 kilos. Notice it's got the T. <laughs> so, so it looks quite creamy. Uh, this is the straw, this is also the strawberry flavour, so, um, yeah, see how she goes. My back is still a bit, uh, you know, coming into line and um, still still a bit twitchy. Had a protein shake earlier this morning, about two or three hours ago, and uh, now I'm just to have, uh, just going to have a, um, a Subway. It was a challenging day yesterday, um, very challenging, especially yeah, with the cleanse day. Um, I must say I got right to the end and um, and then temptation set in and yeah, the rest is history so, <laughs> but um, anyway, anyway today's a new day. Timothy, you have had an interesting week. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, it, was it a little bit harder than you thought it might have been? Um, well, you know, yeah, you know, because of other other challenges that sure. I've also been facing, you know, outside of the um, outside of the outside of the weight loss challenge thing, um, yeah, you know, onwards and upwards anyway. Yeah, that's right. And but you have lost, you have lost some weight, yes. and you've lost centimeters. I have. So that's excellent. And this is a new week, so we look forward to seeing what you're going to come up with next week. Cool. Here we are at the first anniversary of our. It's to live for a weight loss challenge. Did everybody have an okay week or a good week or a so-so week? So-so week. So-so. So-so? Got there. Got there? Yes. Excellent. Good week. Excellent. Good week, yeah. You've all had your weigh-ins. You've all had your measurements. So at this point in time, I'm sort of getting the feeling that you're all a little bit okay and happy. <laughs> okay, so we're on track. So what I wanted to do now is I want to give you a couple of ideas, couple of thoughts and things to take in for the next week, for our week two, okay? Because when I've spoken with each and every one of you throughout the course of today, in checking back over the last week, I've seen that there's been, some of you have been experiencing really big highs and really big lows. And what we need to remember is when you signed up for this and said, yes, I'm going to do it, you weren't simply signing up for the weight loss challenge. On a subconscious level, even if you probably don't even realize, you actually signed up because you wanted to be a part of changing where you were. Changing the habits is really important. I think you've all experienced that in the last week. Some little habits have been trying to niggle back in again. And that's what's part of personal development. That's what's part of your growth. Because it took a long time to get to where you are right now. So, you know, even after we finish this, challenge that we're in the middle of doing, you're still going to be needing to continue on with all of the new things that you learn. Does that make sense? So when, what I'd like to say is when you do have your highs that are really high and you do have your lows, I want you to start thinking about, well, I, I would like you to start thinking about meeting you in the middle, all right? Meeting you where you're at. 
don't get hung up on, you know, if you have a really low, low day, don't get hung up or beat yourself up or get guilty or, you know, get all the guilt feelings in it. Reward yourself by saying, hey, I got this far and things are changing and I'm feeling good. All right. So I'm allow, allow yourself to have that. Meet yourself where you're at. It's really important. The second thing I'd like you to take into the next week is accountability. It's fabulous. I'm really proud of the five of you because you're keeping each other accountable on our team Facebook closed page, which is awesome. It's great to see you popping in and helping each other. I'd like you to continue that, but I'd also like you to get a little bit more I'd like you to get out of your comfort zone and I'd like you to, you, I'm giving you permission to, if you want to say something to somebody else that you think, oh, no, they're, they're doing this, or, you know, they need some help or they're doing this or what have you, but it's not my place. It is your place because we're all together on this. So if the coaches, you know, myself and the others don't, come in on certain posts and say something that you think might be of value and of help to you know your your teammates I want you to give yourself permission to come in and start doing that because we all need to be accountable to each other and to ourselves does that make sense mm -hmm. all right excellent and the final thing is does now do all of you or none of you have like trackers or okay you all have a phone Okay, do you have, I'll, I'll check which ones you have, but uh, on two models of smartphones, and, we'll, and I'll have a look at them, there is a free download app that you can put on that, that when you're walking, when you're out and all that sort of thing, it automatically tracks how many steps you take and how much time you've done it in, all right? So, you know, if you do have a Fitbit or something, I'd like you to start being you know, active every day in using that, all right? If you don't, I'm gonna show you how to do it with a phone as well, all right? Final thing is, we are f one week in. All of your eyes are looking amazing. I've said it to all of you when you arrived today for our film session, yeah? The soul comes through the eyes. The truth comes through the eyes. I'm seeing your tra transformations happening through your eyes. So every day, if you do have a low, I want you to look into the mirror, look into your eyes, right? And say, Janie's looking at me, I'm okay. All right? It's a bit creepy. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Sorry, and this is why I love you. <laughs> I use the bathroom. <laughs> I just want you to know that I'm with you all the way, as you know, but these are just a couple of little tips, but please remember it's, this whole adventure is more than a weight loss challenge for you. So it's gonna be exciting to see what happens over the next few weeks, all right? Week two, are we in? We're in. We're in. Hands up, hands up, we're in. Yay. Maybe you wanna join us on this adventure if you're sitting there and you're thinking, gosh, I'd like to be well. You know, I'm not feeling as great as I used to. Maybe I need to drop a few kilos. Then send us a message and we'd love for you to join us on this adventure because it is, and this is a life adventure. We want to walk through life with each and every one of you. How exciting is this? This is going to be amazing. And we're looking forward to having each and every one of you with us every step of the way because yeah. you know what? I love it when a plan comes together and boy is this plan coming yes, together. Yes it is, yes it is.